Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. In today's episode, we will learn about how to use Angular Material Divider. In previous episodes, we have created and used Mat List, Mat Badges, and Grid List, Navigation List, and also we have used the Mat Grid List to create our layout. Now, in today's episode, it's quick. We'll learn how to create a divider between different elements using Mat Divider. Before we jump into practical, I request you friends to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Also, if you have any technical doubts or queries, drop them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you. Let's get started with the practical. So before I start, let me show you the state of the application. So we are building our learning our all our components in one place, but we see here that these are not divided with there is no separation between them. So usually we can use CSS styling and put a border hyphen border bottom. So we can use a border and put that styling also. Instead, we can use mat divider. Let's learn how to do that. So this is our list item where we had presented it. So here we are going to add mat divider. All it does is it will provide a border bottom horizontal line. We can see here. Now we can see here that we have got the separation between the elements using our mat divider. It's pretty straightforward and it's easy to use. You don't have to specify classes each time. Instead, you can just divide using a, a vertical border. So you can also make it horizontal, oh, sorry, vertical by just adding a layer, uh, attribute and tagging it by vertical equal to true. If you add this option and you should see that there should be a vertical. We cannot see it here because there's already overlapping with the mat card, but this is all you need to get a vertical divider. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this, create a quick spans so that you can see how it looks. So here I'm going to use mat divider between one and two, and there should be a separation of line. All right, uh, let's, um, okay, so this is a bad example, but you get the point, which is if you want to use a divider, you can, by default, it is horizontal. And if you want to use it vertically, you just have to mention vertical equal to true and it would start showing up vertically. So you don't have to pass any detail, just add mat divider tag and you should see the underline here. See the division, that's the divider line that we see. This was a quick tutorial about how to use mat divider. Again, as always, do let me know if you have any questions or comments, queries. I'll be happy to help you for free. Before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There are more tutorials coming on your way. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you next time.